Hi, welcome to another Service Titan video. I've had uh, quite a few requests to show a couple more features of Service Titan, so I decided to go ahead and make this video for you. Uh, as you can see right now, I just reset my business units for confidentiality purposes, and that's one of the things that you can definitely do in Service Titan. So in this video, I wanted to show you how to manage your customers. Here is one of the ways you can search and manage customers. It's when you go into this calls tab over here on the top. So there's a dashboard and there's the calls. Now when you go into calls, you have this thing here with a plus saying new customer. This is where you add a new customer. You simply click on there and it asks you, okay, in, enter the information, enter your customer name, um, address, mobile phone number, email of course, and you can modify this. For example, I can add another thing here. I can add an email, another fax, another phone, another mobile phone. So very customizable. I can add a lot of information here, technically, and it's gonna let me do as many as I want. There is no limit because you can have a lot of people living in the same house. Then you get information in there and you save it. This is a quick search that you can use to search for customer by name, street, unit, zip code, uh, unit number is if it's a condo, and then of course zip code and phone number. So for example, if I enter a zip code, it will show me all the customers I have within that zip code. And as you can see here, I had uh, some customers pulled up over here and I can load more. That's a lot of customers that I have in this uh, particular zip code. The best recommendation I can give in terms of searches, search by address, always search by address because you can have one home with multiple people living in it. And so you might have multiple phone numbers. For example, first phone call you had, the husband called. You took their information and then the next day the wife called but her number is not coming up. So you're like, wait a second, I can't find you in the system. Instead of looking it up by the phone number, look it up using the street address and it will be much easier for you to find customers. That's one thing that I learned over time. It makes things much more easier, faster, efficient, etc. Names, a lot of customers with the same first name and even last name. So when you look up, let's say Jennifer or John, you will see a lot of those customers pop up. Instead, street. The street address will always be just one for this customer and their whole family. You can actually add multiple properties to the same account. So for example, John Smith might have three different properties and they all will be listed under his uh, account. Let's use an example of me adding a uh, an address over here. I want to show you something. Once I edit the address, it shows me a verification thing. The software found the address in Las Vegas, that's the zip code, and it auto-populated one thing you can do is you can also see the property data. You can see over here I pulled up an address that I'm not going to show, but it shows me everything about this customer. It shows me when the uh, house was built, it shows me the estimated value, it shows me the square footage of the home, a lot of information over here that I can get just by simply using service title. The rest of the window you use to create your actual job. So I showed this in one of my other videos where you select the job type, the business unit, which is your department. It's the software allows you to departmentalize, which is really important for company growth. Later on, those jobs go on your schedule right there. And I'm showing you like May where I have nothing on schedule, but this is where you can see uh, what the schedule looks like. And of course you can sort out what you want to see and what you don't want to see on your schedule. So you can select business units. For example, you only want to see one department on schedule for this week or uh, one day or two day, sorry, one day or three days or a whole month, right? If I look at the whole month, I can see some more things over here. Some people like on the other hand to use the dispatch board and dispatch board is basically the same as schedule, except you can only see one day at a time and it's like a horizontal view. So you have to scroll left and right versus up and down uh, when you're looking at the schedule view. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you in terms of your customers is the search bar over here, the actual search feature in Service Titan is so extensive, it's ridiculous. You can search anything, um, you know, by the call, by phone numbers, customers, equipment estimates, jobs, e even little things like some kind of word inside of an estimate or inside of an invoice. So for example, if I'm looking for a job and I know that this job uh, has uh, in its description, it's talking about AC repair. I'm gonna type in AC repair over here and any job that has 
uh, you know AC repair and it will pop up so this feature is really useful now notice how you can uh, look for customers based on many many different uh, things starting from name customer type whether they're active or inactive member so you essentially can look look up all the active members or all the inactive members without even typing in any names so the search here is really really useful and it's a, so there's two searches this one only allows you to search for certain customers based on this criteria here and the other search is really extensive where you can find customers based on you know you can group customers in a certain way to make it easier for you to find the right person this is how this is what I used to see how many people owe us money every customer that's balance is greater than one dollar and once I look that up okay there is gonna sh is gonna find 72 matching results for people that still have some kind of balance uh, that wasn't paid whether it wasn't marked in the system or they actually haven't paid and we need to collect the payment or maybe we're waiting it's pending basically accounts receivable at this point again really really extensive search over here for customers and customer management in general is really uh, easy to use when you're inside of the customers profile there's also a lot of features that you can use you can create projects sell membership add payment methods uh, and you can look at all of their locations and once you go to the location record it gives you more options now, like for example, book a job and again, create a project, add recurring service, add equipment, sell membership. Every customer has two records, their actual billing address and their service location address, because a lot of people have uh, properties that they manage. So this is how you look at all that stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was somewhat informative on at least how to manage customers. If you have any questions or would like to see any other videos, definitely leave me a comment below and of course like and subscribe for more see you in another one